as the flood reaches its height, the Sud has doubled in size. Now covering 32,000 square kilometers, it's one of the world's biggest wetlands. For a few months, this water world is left to nature. For some, it's paradise. Fish can now colonize areas that were recently grassland. For just a few weeks, they can take advantage of the huge new supplies of food. Spot-necked otters are very social. They live in close-knit family groups, often hunting together. Intelligent and agile, they hunt using speed and cunning. Webbed feet give propulsion, and a long tail helps them steer. they prefer fish, these otters will sometimes eat snails, frogs, or even insects. But there's one swamp creature that really will eat anything. With a muscular body one and a half meters long and a powerful poisonous bite, the Nile monitor is understandably avoided by all its neighbors. Relatively clumsy on land, underwater it's transformed into an agile hunter. But the huge lizard is just as happy eating others' rotting leftovers on the bottom of the swamp. In fact, it will eat and digest almost anything it can fit into its mouth. The Nile monitor is one of the most adaptable of all the Sud's animals. In this constantly changing water world, it's a winning strategy. Soon, it's all change again. <laughs> 